I went to Japan actually twice in July. Oh really? I was there in um, December. Yeah, this is Nikon's flagship camera, the top of the line. So it does really good video and really good um, sales. It's gonna be hot. But yeah, it's not as bad as um, Japan actually. This is looking good already. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm just checking if I'm in focus. Looks good, very sharp, very good makeup. Can you move towards the sun a little bit more? Yep. It is from... Really sharp. familiar face Hi. back on the channel the last time we shot was about three years ago long time yes and we were using the Pentax 6 for 5z mm -hmm. and the Hasselblad x1d doing the comparison and when I got the phase one IQ 150 meter for my camera I thought let's just bring back sky and do a shoot again with medium format because I want to give you like the ultimate image quality um, photos Thank you. For your portfolio. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate that. And you're welcome. And of course, you're an awesome model. Uh, we've been shooting for about 15 minutes. Um, you're very easy to work with. You know your poses, angles, everything. So basically, I'm just pressing the shutter button. <laughs> We're getting good shots already. But I want to focus on this lens, the Mamiya 150mm 2.8. This lens is a little bit heavy, 1.7 pounds or 771 grams, 72 millimeter filter thread. I think it kind of balances the camera out because the digital back in the back of the Phase 1 DF Plus body is uh, kind of heavy. And then so with this lens added to the setup, it kind of balances out. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the pictures coming out so far using this lens? Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, no, I mean... Clear very very sharp image quality mm -hmm. I, I think it captures pretty much everything mm -hmm. so that's nice um it almost looks like i have a filter on but There's, yeah it might be just my makeup, awesome makeup. <laughs> yeah. good makeup skills yes and um very good lens to capture that so yeah. so far so good i'm excited all to right. see all the rest of the pictures we're going to take today yes all right we'll keep on shooting Three, one, two, three. Very good. Ooh, it is getting hot. Uh, Sky is coming back from her car. She was just fixing up her makeup, as you can tell. Um, it's it's really hot, sweating, bad out here, um, but sky looks good as always. Some internal features of this lens is it has ultra low dispersion glass. It has eight elements in seven groups. You can come in sky. And uh, the focusing is not that bad. The autofocus motor in this, it's able to grab focus within a second or less than a second. And I'm able to do the um, old school method of composing on Sky's face, recomposing and taking a shot. Uh, sorry, were you able to look at the recent pictures that we get, did right here in yes. the sword, sword grass? I really like these so far. It's kind of giving like I'm in, um, doing a campaign for a jeans ad almost, but jeans are that's, rough. But yeah. yes, but that's how editorial mm -hmm. these photos look with this camera. Yes. So. Excited to see how everything else is going to come out, but so far, so good, and I'm Looking loving good. it. Yes. And I know we have Favorite one picture. more outfit after this. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
Can you cross your hands? Let me show you the picture. One, two, three. Does this have body? One, two, three. Okay, so the closest focusing on this lens is 3.28 feet, or 3.3 feet. Let me see if I can do a headshot here. It can still focus close. Okay, let me get closer. I think this is already pushing its limits. Oh wow, it can still focus this close. Okay, I thought that was, let's see, this is about two. Okay, it can't. This can, okay, wow, very good shallow depth of field. It was rainy, like for a while and we really wished for good weather and we got the good weather but we also got the heat <laughs> yeah we got the heat it's kind of like that on guam where it rains for a while mm -hmm. it disappears and it seems to be hotter yeah than it I was agree. yeah before when it was raining uh, but with this lens 150 millimeter 2.8 on this sensor which is about a 0.79 crop because this isn't uh, considered a full medium format sensor a crop medium format sensor this is equivalent to around a 120 millimeter 2.2 aperture in full frame terms. But even at that length on a full frame camera, we're still getting good blurred background, Re really excellent bokeh, which is of course the Japanese word for blurred background. And we did some shots where Sky, you were on the mm -hmm. telephone pole, it's probably damaged by the typhoon. <laughs> yeah. Um, but since it was blurring the background and mm -hmm. you're super sharp and in focus, I think it looked really good, really yeah. editorial. Uh, I agree. Even these close-ups are... Oh, close-ups, yeah. i just testing the minimum focusing distance. Oh, that's good too. And let it load. 100%. That oh, is crazy. Bottom of your eyelashes. Let's see your eyelashes here and still loading. Oh, yeah. It's like with medium format, I feel like when you look at pictures up close, it's like you can feel the skin. Yeah. Because it details so much versus regular smaller. You can see my sensor pores. cameras. Yes, you can. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if I love it or hate it, but <laughs> I love it. I mean, the pictures will turn out nice, so it will. And and you know what? We're human at the end of the day. Yes. So we have to embrace these imperfections. Mm. I have pores. I'm human, right? I have gout, and sometimes it's hard <laughs> for me to bend down <laughs> using my knees to take the photo. Yeah. Exactly. So we're all just normal human beings with our little imperfections but that's yep. what makes us beautiful yep <laughs> all right we'll shoot some more So we are done with the shoot. We decided not to change into Sky's second outfit. Mm -hmm. I think it was going to be like a nice black, black dress. dress. Yeah. We didn't feel like it was going to match the vibe of the surrounding area here. 
but your jeans, your white top, necklace, it matched the vibe. Perfectly, yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. Even with the shots we did on the broken telephone pole from the typhoon, <laughs> it matched it like yes. perfectly. Very good. And like you were saying before, the colors popped with the white top and the background, yes, the green background. with the greenery in the back, yeah. yeah. And especially with this lens, very good cinematic feel, 3D feel. Your focus very sharp and the background is just super smooth. Yeah, I agree. And you know, we've only been shooting a little over an hour, hour and a half, and we've got a lot of amazing shots. I agree. And I'm excited. Yes. And thank you for always helping me out um, for the YouTube channel. Thank you, James, for having me. Of I'm course. honored to be on this for the fifth time. Yes. That's crazy. Let's make it 10. Yes. <laughs> and if you notice, Sky's uh, face is actually the face of Guam Photography. That's a display picture I've been using for many years when we shot with the Leica camera back then with the flower mm -hmm. in your ear. Yes. Uh, final thoughts and of course your social media so oh, yeah. our viewers can follow you. Uh, my social media, Instagram, Twitter is S-K-Y-E-B-V-K-E-R mm -hmm. and if you have TikTok, my Instagram name is the Real Sky B V K E R. I have to spell it out because sometimes people ask me if that's a typo or on purpose so just clarifying, yes. the V is on purpose. Upside but, down A. Upside down yeah. A but my last name is Baker. Yes. Yeah. Of course, I put everything on the screen in the description below. Um, again, thank you for helping me out. We got a lot of awesome shots. Everything was perfect. Thank you again for always helping us out. Of course. Thank you for having me. All right. We see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. That's all going to be filmed video.